We arrived in Columbus in summer of 2018 and then talking um, to a few people that I got to know in Columbus, they sort of said, oh, I think it might do quite well here. There's, we know a lot of plant-based people, a lot of vegan people. I ended up doing the start of Columbus course after talking to a few people and that's how it all really started. But for me, it's been a lot of experimentation in terms of trying out different recipes and things to veganize that you haven't haven't done before and obviously having a few disasters along the way as well and then ending up with recipes red velvet because I don't use any food coloring um, I just use a little bit of uh, beetroot powder so beet powder uh, mixed with a little bit of water to give it a bit of a red color so a little bit of cocoa powder and a bit of vanilla and um, for those two to come together you still have that flavor then of the uh, the red velvet as I kind of needed to get more and more things and keep more ingredients at home it's been interesting trying to find the space, obviously because it's an, an apartment as well. And my family's kind of always opening up cupboards and finding uh, baking things rather than like other things that should be there. So that's been, been interesting for them. That's, that's how much buttercream I've got left. The biggest compliment is if people say, oh, you can't, you can't even tell it's vegan, which I think is great because it just shows that you don't, you don't actually always need dairy or eggs to make something taste exactly how it should. To me, they taste just like chocolate chips should taste, so you don't have to feel like you're restricted if you're just on a, on a vegan or a, or a plant-based diet. A lot of people just DM me directly and say, how do I order? And then I kind of say, well, you can order just through DM or um, on Facebook. I get a lot of Facebook messages as well on there. It'll be interesting kind of to see what happens in the future and whether I'm still in a few months' time still baking from home or whether I'm baking from somewhere else.